Hey guys, Mateo Blanco here. Welcome back to my channel. Clearly, I'm not in India anymore. This probably gives you a hint, but if you already follow me on Instagram, then you know where I'm at right now. But if you're not coming from my Instagram, then you'll have to wait till the next vlog because I am in a different country. It's my first time here. But just popping in to say hi. Welcome back, everyone. Yeah, I've been exploring so much. I think in the last like two weeks, I hit four countries already. So yeah, it's been a wild ride. I'm surprised I'm like fully awake but just popping in also to say this vlog was supposed to be like so much longer obviously it's India it's my first time and like I said in my last video like Mateo in India that's so random but anyways this vlog was supposed to be so much longer but this was literally the most difficult country to get into and it well actually I'll save the details for later so as of right now just sit back we'll talk after Enjoy the vlog and let's travel for the first time to Delhi, India. My little friend, isn't he so cute? Ugh, I die. In the far distance, you can see the Mateo going away party. You know, all these fireworks were clearly for me and only me. This iPhone quality is literal shit. And I'm not trying to be funny, but it started smelling really spicy on the airplane, which is kind of stereotypical, but not in a bad way because I love spice. And it just so happened to be this food which was actually amazing. I finished literally everything on this plate. I'll explain what the issue at the airport was at the end of this video, so stay tuned. But I got my own personal escort all the way out of the airport, literally through TSA and everything. I had to start getting ready in the taxi to the tour because I was at the airport for four plus hours. So I literally had zero time to actually get ready before exploring India. I was trying to enjoy the scenery of the drive all while trying to get my makeup done because it's not every day you're in India. And also the drive from Delhi airport to the Taj Mahal is a four hour drive so I was planning on taking a nap also but we managed to get it done in 30 minutes. Maybe two hours into our drive we made a pit stop and I got Pizza Hut which the majority of the religion here doesn't eat pork nor cow so most of the restaurants only sell chicken so this quote-unquote pepperoni pizza was literally all chicken and now this is the road leading up to the entrance to the Taj Mahal it was so cute there was so many monkeys and there's actually signs saying not to make any eye contact nor carry food nor water or else they're literally gonna like attack you which is kind of a moment and as beautiful as this looks, it's actually just the entrance to the Taj Mahal. Literally, just an entrance. The emperor at the time had it made in 1631. It took 22 years to build for his wife's tomb. Basically like a version of heaven on earth, hence the garden. But unfortunately his sons threw him in jail shortly after. Don't know how that happened. But he never got to build his own tomb across the river. So now he actually rests right next to his wife at the Taj Mahal. My tour got cut short only because I was stuck at the airport for hours upon hours. So we're heading back to my hotel. For the most part, all the free roaming animals on the streets are considered neighbors. So they're not really owned by anyone. They just really walk around, which I thought was so cool. Ordered some food as soon as I got back. This was the next morning driving to the airport. It's literally so foggy. I actually was recording this because I just thought it was so cool how like distance works. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I thought it was so cool that some trees were like faded out the further that they were at. So I'm just touching down on my next destination and if you don't already know where I'm at, maybe this amount of humidity will give you a hint. So that was the end of that vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed my little trip to India. It was so different. And honestly, I know for Jordan, I did say that there was like 
kind people. I don't know if it's just because I have like a bunch of Indian followers, but everyone was like even more kind. Not that Jordan was any less kind, but like the Indian people were like super kind to me. I wonder why. So the reason that this vlog was so short was because Okay, so I got my visa, which American passports do need like a visa to enter India and I paid for it maybe four days in advance. But what wasn't stated online was like the fact that if you're staying two or less days, I don't know what the actual like number was, but if you're staying for a short amount of time, you can't enter India, which I thought was like kind of weird because like, don't you want tourists to enter your country, you know, more money, like whatever. So I wasn't being let in because I was only going to stay for like one full day, like 24 hours. And it was weird too, because there was like two other people that did the same exact mistake as I did, where they went to Delhi, like just to explore it for a little bit. So we were all walked to someone like higher up in like the airport that would like talk to us and let us know what the deal is or how they can help us. They said no to them and I went last. I always like to go last so then I could hear what like the issue is. Maybe I could play it off or something. But then right when I got to him, I was like, oh, like I just want to see like the Taj Mahal. Like I have my visa. I purchased it before and I actually have my guide coming to pick me up at the airport soon. So if we could speed up the process, that would like help a little bit. And they were just like, oh, well, you know, we don't really do that. Like if, if, you were going to do that. You would have to take out your luggage from the airport, which I was planning on just like leaving it there because I'm just going to the Taj Mahal. I don't need to carry like 20,000 outfits, which I thought was kind of weird because why do you need to do that? But then also, I guess it kind of makes sense because they saw my next flight was in like 24 hours. So I wouldn't have to lose my luggage or like leave it behind or whatever. And they were like, but that's not possible. I already had a flight to this next destination where I'm at right now. They were just more worried about the luggage and like leaving it at their airport if I missed my flight the next day to where I'm at right now. But I literally said, I don't care if I lose my flight. Like, I just want to see the Taj Mahal. It's part of my list. I came here for a reason. The management saw that I really wanted to like explore India. They probably saw how many cameras I was carrying and not just trying to play dumb in their country, which I kind of did play dumb. If I keep looking up, it's because it's like pouring rain where I'm at right now. So just ignore that. So they saw how dedicated I was to like getting into the Taj Mahal. And the security kept like winking at me, like kind of saying like, like, oh, you never saw me, like you never came here, but wink, wink. I like suggest that you take your luggage out with you as annoying as it is, because if I don't take it out, they're not gonna let me into the country. Now it's like, okay, like whatever. The Taj Mahal, like that's a big thing. I don't know about you guys, but like the Taj Mahal in my brain is a big thing. And I said, okay, like I didn't come this far just to be denied. So he made me write like a little, actually I'm going too much into detail, so. Let's just skip that part. I don't know how big like the Delhi airport is, but it took, I think maybe four hours to get my luggage, which is insane because I had just arrived. So I was like, are you kidding me? At this point I was like stressed out because I was like, I read everything. I'm not like dumb and just book something for no reason. But in my head, I was like, sit back, wait for your luggage. And I waited for four hours. My tour started at 6 a.m. And my tour guide waited outside of the airport for me till 8 a.m. So he literally waited like an extra two hours for me, which is another reason why I say like Indian people are so kind. Cause I know if I was the one giving this tour, I would have been like, okay, you're late by like even 15 minutes, like bye. But I mean, I guess I did book him for the whole day. So after I dealt with like the TSA management, they let me in, I got my luggage. I got the stamp on my passport, so cute, so many stamps now. The tour guide was not pissed off like at all. I tipped him like so good. As you saw, I made it into the Taj Mahal, which was so beautiful. If it's on your itinerary to go at some point in your life, you have to go. The pictures online do not make it justice. And the people there were super kind. They were actually asking for like pictures with me, but I definitely need to go back. But at least now I know that like, I have to like stay a bit longer than like whatever. All I heard like the TSA guy was saying like, easy passport, easy passport. Like kind of saying like the American passport has like a lot of privilege, so I'm grateful for it. It actually got me through so many things here in the country that I am now as well. He made it this far into my little speech slash rant slash slash explanation then thank you for watching my next vlog is clearly gonna be another travel vlog because i'm again in another country right now and i'm having the best time right now thank you for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe and see you guys on the next one bye guys